Good morning. Have you ever wanted to meet an Eastern box turtle? Well, today is your lucky day. Uh, I'm Rob Reese. I'm here at the Denison Pequot Seacoast Nature Center, and um, we're going to talk about box turtles. So, box turtles are a type of reptile, and there's lots of different types of turtles. Most of them live in ponds or streams or maybe wetlands. Box turtles are pretty much only on the land. This is Clyde. And he is an eastern box turtle. Now, <clears throat> he is a type of reptile. And uh, there's some things about him that are like all reptiles have. He's got scales. Check out that armor. He's got uh, scales on his shell, too. He's got bones, like inside. If we could open him up, we can't. He would have a problem with that. But if we could, he's got bones and a skeleton, just like a, uh, just like a reptile. And he's cold-blooded, which means he's completely dependent on the sun and the environment to, uh, to be warm, to stay warm. Now, there's also some really cool things that aren't the same as mm. every other reptile. Uh, he's got a shell. Nice. Ooh. And he doesn't have teeth. He's got a bill like a bird. Isn't that weird? He's got a bill like a bird instead of teeth. And for Rob, those now, tuning in, what kind of turtle are you holding right now? Well, this is Clyde, and he's an eastern box turtle. And I am Rob Reese, and I'm here at the Denison Pequot Seapost Nature Center. Now, <clears throat> so he's got a bill, he's got a shell, and he does some interesting things that aren't like other uh, reptiles. For example, he doesn't shed his skin all at once, like a snake, or, or fluff it off uh, kind of in big patches like a lizard. Instead, he sheds one scale at a time off his shell. By the way, these scales aren't called scales when they're on the shell. They're called scoots. Isn't that weird, Nate? That's a weird word for it. So that's a scoot, and he's got a really cool pattern on his shell. Now, um, up here, you see him? He's got like red eyes. Isn't that really weird? So he's a, he's a boy box turtle. And there's a few ways we can tell. First, the red eyes. He's also got a pretty big tail. Mm, I don't know. It looks kind of small to me. It's hard to tell. But anyway, he's got a pretty big tail. But the best way to tell, if you want to know if this is a, uh, a male box turtle, is looking at the plastron. The top of the shell, that's called the carapace. The bottom is called the plastron. And if you could feel it, it almost feels like plastic. And uh, you see how it's got this nice big dent right there? That tells you that it's a boy. That's a male box turtle. We have a question from Kristen who wants to know how old is Clyde and how many years do they live in captivity versus the wild? I don't know exactly how old Clyde is, uh, but I know he's, he's got to be at least about 40 years old. And in the wild, that might be the average, is somewhere around 40 years. In captivity, they could live to be 75, 80 years old. Um, but that's a really cool question. It's also why uh, if you find a box turtle, you're out on a hike or something like that, it's not a very good uh, pet to bring home with you and make a, uh, you know, make a pet. Um, it's best to leave these animals where they are they are threatened in Connecticut and Rhode Island, and so we want to leave them in nature so they can do their thing. Right, because these are a protected species, so these are, are not one that yeah. you are allowed to have at home. Exactly, exactly. So this is a male box turtle named Clyde. Now, uh, let's see. We talked about the eyes and the tail and the plastron. Now, we're at his plastron. 
He's got a funny name, right? A box turtle? I guess he is kind of boxy, but really it's down here. This is the cool part. Right there, that line is kind of hinged like a door. So if he was scared, he could tuck in his legs, tuck in his head, and he could close up like a box. If you look real close, excuse me, Clyde, he can move that part of his plastron. He can do it back here too, but his tail's in the way. So I have one more box turtle to show you. We can keep talking. Is there any other questions? Not yet, but I know the popular question is, what do Eastern box turtles eat? Aha, uh -huh. so Eastern box turtles, for the most part, will eat things like, like fallen grapes and other fruit that falls, right? They'll also eat slugs and worms. Uh, they can eat some unusual things too, like they can eat mushrooms, even ones that we would call poisonous. They can eat those. Which seems like April is very excited to learn about what Mr. Claude eats. Uh -huh. Now, what are the things that we feed them here at the Nature Center? So they get turtle salad. Now, <laughs> so the recipe for turtle salad is kind of funny, but um, basically it's like, it's, it's greens with some fruit mixed in and some, some mealworms, which is like a, like a beetle larva, right? And uh, good protein for them. And they get a little, little extra boost of calcium sprinkled on top like Parmesan. Now, <laughs> oh, thank you. So turtles pee right out the back there. Um, just like any other reptile, uh, turtles have a cloaca. And that's where it is. That's where the urine comes out. That's also where the pee comes out. Uh, sorry, the uh, poop comes out. Now, this is Shelby. Shelby is also an eastern box turtle, but this is a girl box turtle. And... Um, you can see, tiny little tail. Much smaller. Okay. You also notice that her pattern is similar, but it's not the same, right? And it's not that it changes depending on whether um, she's a boy or girl, but, but each box turtle has their own like pattern on their shell, like they're unique. So it's kind of, it's kind of cool. Uh, let's see, oh, that's right. And her, you see how her eye is like a brown color? Sometimes the girls can have like orangish tone to their eyes, but for the most part, they're pretty, pretty brown. We have a question from Christian who would like to know how old Shelby is. And, um, well, I'll Oops, get sorry. That two seconds. And then you see how her plastron is really, really flat. See that? So she has uh, extra room for eggs because she's going to lay eggs. So she needs enough room to have those eggs inside of her for a while. Uh, I, again, I don't know how old Shelby is uh, precisely, but I know they're, they're up there. Um, I would guess that Shelby is in at least her 30s, but it's just a guess. Uh, the, the thing is, is that uh, I'm pretty sure that all of our box turtles were at one point somebody's pet. And then they were pets for a while. We don't know how old they were when they were picked up. And then they came here um, because, you know, people kind of... Realized how long they lived. Yeah, they realized how long they're gonna have that pet. So, and so they donated to the Nature Center. But um, I did read, I did read somewhere that you can determine the box turtle's age by their shell, by these grooves on the shell, but I'm not convinced of that. So it's an interesting question, um, but there are lines, there are lines that go right up the shell. If you would like to uh, do some homework on that and see what you think, I'm just not sure that they equate to years. All right, so if anyone is curious to do their own homework at home and share with us, you're welcome to do so. Just send us a message here on our Facebook page. We do have another question that came in about if Eastern box turtles swim in water and if they do, how long can they hold their breath? For the most part, they're not going to swim. 
like they're not going to choose to. You wouldn't find them in the water. You're going to find them in the forest. Um, if it fell in the water, I think probably it could swim well enough to get itself out for the most part. And that's about it. Um, <clears throat> these are land turtles, so, right? So, yeah, so these are land turtles. In fact, they don't even have the webbed feet of a normal like painted turtle or something like that. They have really, really strong clawed feet. They actually use these feet for, for digging. They'll dig a hole for, to, to lay their eggs. And they'll also dig to hibernate. They'll dig underneath like a log or a rock or something. And um, as they get deeper and deeper uh, throughout the fall and winter. And so they hibernate essentially like this with their butts to the, to the air. No. So sometimes when you find turtles, box turtles, they'll have um, like frostbite damage on their tails for that reason. Because they're just getting deep enough to not freeze. Now, when do most turtles lay their eggs? <clears throat> um, so it, each, each turtle is different. Uh, so not meaning individual turtles, but species of turtles. So some turtles lay their eggs actually in the fall and then they overwinter. And I believe that's what box turtles do as well. All right. And we can post more about that on our Facebook yeah. page later today. All right. So any other questions from the world of Facebook that people would like to ask, you could do so right here on our page, on our Facebook Live. We'll give another minute for questions. Rob, is there a favorite Eastern box turtle that you have here at the Nature Center? I really like Clyde. He's one of my favorites. One, mostly, mostly, honestly, mostly because um, he's got that cool yellow tone on his, on his scale and uh, on his face and whatnot. But also because when we do our turtle drawing classes, they, uh, he's a really good model. He just sits there, you know, looks around, smiles if you could. <laughs> All right, perfect. So it doesn't look like we have any other questions right now, but people can always shoot us a message again right here on our Facebook page. Um, but for anyone that is looking to hang out with us tomorrow, we're going to be doing another Facebook Live at 10 a.m. And that is with an Eastern Screech Owl. So tune in here on our Facebook page at 10 a.m. on Wednesday, and we will see you then. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.